Uh, sir, so, yeah. Uh, sir, I had a question about the accuracy part. Uh, accuracy. Uh, uh, so the that e yes, sir. That so in that the uh, denominator in this uh, is it is the number of documents in the corpus, right, sir? Like the true positive plus false positive plus false negative plus uh, true negative. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, sir, like, uh, okay, some kind of search, search engines which will return, like, uh, say everything is not relevant, they may be full, but, like, uh, in other, in some cases, this may, can this work? Will this work, sir? Like, uh, if you are uh, actually building a proper search engine, like, will, will this work? Accuracy? No, accuracy won't work because for most of the queries, uh, your true negatives are going to be extremely high so it all boils down to what your you know what, what what the most frequent queries are right and for the most frequent queries uh, your if your accuracy is uh, always going to be high no matter you know whether you're returning no results or whether you're returning uh, you know only the relevant results it may make a difference of just a few hundred documents or a few thousand or even if it's a few tens of thousands or a million it's still much it's a very very small fraction of the total number of documents in your corpus and even though one of the search engines is returning the thousand most relevant documents to you and the other one is returning none in in terms of the, the value of the fraction is not going to amount so, so, so it will never work for uh, information retrieval, is it? Yeah, it's not going to work. Um, in some cases, it may work for classification systems. Uh, and they're generally, I mean, this, this accuracy is generally used to measure uh, the performance of machine learning classification, but not in the context of IR. So, uh, so could you please repeat this once more? I'm not getting it, so. Oh, about the most frequent queries part. I didn't get it at all. I didn't get it, sir. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, if your query is such that the number of true negatives for that query are going to be approximately equal to the number of documents in your collection, which is basically this value, then it doesn't matter what search system you use because even if a search system is returning the best results to you for that query the only difference between snoogle.com and this good search engine will be in this small value of pp So I'm talking about representative queries. If your, if 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 most of the queries in your query log are queries like this, where TP is much much less than TN, then you know this measure is not helping you to distinguish between a good search engine or a bad search engine, because. Or both kinds of search engines are yielding an accuracy close to 99.9%. Okay, so, so but in, so could it uh, not detect some kind of bad search engines in which it, uh, you know, it detects very few true negatives, like something like that? I mean, well, uh, yeah, I mean, if you if you have a search engine that is returning every document in the corpus, sure, I mean, that one, uh, I mean, th that is something you could distinguish, but, I mean, usually you are competing one good search engine with another good search engine, right? So, okay, sir. Uh, for such kind of measurements, this measure is not going to help. Okay, sir. So, uh, I just want to clarify something which I should have earlier. We have looked at two retrieval models, Boolean retrieval and ranked retrieval.
and we need to talk about the precision and recall in the context of both okay uh, not just in the context of rank retrieval so can somebody explain how you would measure precision and recall for boolean retrieval systems so note that in a boolean retrieval system either a query matches a document or it does not match a document so in that sense um, every document that is returned is returned because it is matching the query or satisfying the query but what we are concerned here is more about the information need of the user right so some human will be sitting and checking whether the results that were returned uh, actually mapped to the information need or not so uh, from that standpoint uh, boolean retrieval systems can still be evaluated right based on whether or not they satisfy the information of course if you have two identical boolean retrieval systems or, or sorry two boolean retrieval systems having the same specification if you give them the same query they're going to return the same set of results right always and the problem here is more that the the user was not able to translate the information need into the query wherever we find that uh, what was returned was not relevant to the user's information need right we discussed all this in chapter 1 if the user wants to know how to diplomatically uh, or politically uh, to kill mice in a politically correct way he or she may search for a mouse trap but then the results may not be relevant but the problem there is more that the user entered the uh, express the information need in an improper way the problem was not that the system itself didn't perform so in the context of boolean retrieval uh, in some way these measures are a little artificial because if the specification of the system is precise then the query and the documents that are returned will always match but think of a system which is using the vector space model that we have discussed in chapter 3 but which may not do ranking okay think of a search engine which does not uh, rank the documents in any particular order but just returns them based on whether or not it considers them to be relevant or uh, or not right and and a search engine like that could look like the following okay, we you, you can think of you can think of it not doing the very last step where after computing the scores between the query and the documents it just returns the documents in some random order instead of uh, you know building a heap and then extracting the top k elements from it let's say it doesn't do ranking how would you measure the evaluation uh, how do you evaluate uh, such a search engine for rank retrieval you can focus on the top few documents but if you don't have ranking then your precision and recall measures will have to be done globally okay not just looking at the top 20 or 30 documents you will need to look at all the results that are returned and then use that this formula for all the results that are based on all the results that are returned to you by the engine you will mark each result as relevant or not relevant and you would have marked every document in the corpus as relevant or not relevant and then you'll compute this for a large number of representative queries on such a search engine in case of ranking what you're doing is you're focusing more on the top 10 or 20 results and doing this evaluation on them okay on only the top 10 results or the top 20 results or the top 30 results and so on now we have looked at 
two measures, right? Precision and recall. So how do we say that one in search engine is performing better than another? Because there are two measures, right? One of them could be performing better on the precision side and worse on the recall side. And the other could be performing better on the recall side and, you know, performing badly on the precision side. So we need a single score that can combine both these scores, precision as well as recall, so that we have a single value. And then if we have a single value, that value can be compared across uh, different search engines.